Today I'm going to share with you how to fix distortions in Photoshop. You see, whenever you take a photo with a very wide angle lens, you will see some bent edges, some distorted areas as you can see in this image, of course, because that is natural. Now, whether you want to fix it or not, that's absolutely your artistic call. My job is to show you how to do it. So with the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command J, we always want to have a backup. And now we're going to name this distortion fix. For short, let's name this dis fix. I know that doesn't sound right, but you get the point. Now, the next thing we need to do is to go to filter and then adaptive wide angle. Now, we're going to keep the correction to fish eye. Then with the first tool right here, which is the constant tool, just click along a bent line and then just hover over, keep on hovering over. And there you go. The line will bend automatically and click on in here on the other side. There you go, it fixes it. If you think the curve is not right, you can always adjust it with the middle point. But I'm gonna leave it to where it was. Now let's do the other areas. If you zoom out, have a look at this area at the top. This area seems distorted as well. So we're gonna click one more time and just click in right there. There you go, that's fixed too. You can adjust the middle point. Now have a look at the pole. We want straight poles. If you look at this pole, this is bent too. So let's click on in here and make sure that this is straight. Let's do the same with the other side as well. We also want the ramp to be straight. I think most of it is straight anyway. So if you want, you can draw a line right there, but that's going to only complicate things. We're going to leave it at that. It looks all right to me and just hit OK once you're satisfied. Now, keep in mind, you can also zoom in and zoom out by using the scale slider. Zoom out, zoom in. That's upon you. I'm going to leave it to 100 and then hit OK. Now we can turn off the background layer to see which of the areas are left out. Now if this was an image of let's say sand dunes or something consistent right here like a plain ground, it would have been easier for us to fill it with content of air fill and don't worry about cropping. But in this case, this is a complicated image. So even after content of air fill, we might have to crop it a little bit. So first of all, let's select the areas which are empty and for that hold the control or command and click on the layer thumbnail of the disk fix. All right, now we want to select areas which are empty, not the areas which exist. So invert the selection, press Control Shift I, Command Shift I to invert the selection. Now, if we directly fill in here, there is a chance that it might leave out a very thin gap right in here. So we want the selection to dig in a little bit. And for that, let's go to select, modify because we want to modify what? The selection, select, modify, and then expand. We want to what? Expand the selection so that it digs in. Four pixels is fine. Now you can determine how many pixels by just counting in the pixels. So one, two, three, four, four is fine. Hit okay. All right, so it digs in by four pixels. Now let's fill it. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you can go to edit and then fill and then choose content aware and the contents drop down. If you're using the later versions of Photoshop, I will always recommend directly choosing content aware fill because that way you can do a lot of settings in here, uh, determine which areas to sample from, which areas not to sample from. And as you can see, it didn't do a pretty good job. You know why? Because this image is very complicated. So I think this is right. I'm going to leave it at that. We might have to crop in any way. You can choose output to current layer or new layer. If you choose new layer, everything that you have filled in will be on a brand new layer. So you can do that for non-destructive purposes and hit OK. So everything that we filled in, have a look, is on a brand new layer, which is good to have. Now press C for the crop tool. Make sure you click on clear so that you don't have anything right in there. And then just freely crop from the left hand side, from the right hand side a little bit, as much area as you can have and hit enter and have a look. This is fixed. If you want to straighten something, you can click on the crop tool again, click on straighten and you can straighten a little bit. All right. Now this looks fantastic and it's not distorted. If you want to have a look at the before and after, I'm going to turn on the before, which was layer zero, control or command T. Let's bring it the top so that you can see the before and after better. So there you go. This is the before distorted. This is the after fixed. Now we have another example right there. This is a bit complicated, but fun to fix. Press control or command J. You want to have a copy? Step two, go to filter and adapt a wide angle. Now in this case, whatever bent lines you see, just select the constraint tool, click fixed. This building is bent to click, click fixed. Similarly, right in here, fixed. Have a look at these lines as well. We can easily fix that. Click and click. Now, we might have to move it to that 
we might have to make adjustments here. That looks perfect. I'm going to move this one as well. Now that is fixed. Similarly, this pole, click, click. That pole is also fixed. Look at the bottom of the car. So click, click. That is now straight. Similarly, in this area, this area is straight too. Let's have a look at the before and after. You can click on the preview to have a look at the before. And this is the after. I think we can create one more line in here. All right, now that is straight as well. Now most areas look straight. Once you're satisfied with it, just hit OK. Boom, done. You can turn off the background, see which areas are left out, and you can easily fill it. You can try content aware fill. So hold the Control R command, click on the thumbnail of that layer, Control Shift I, Command Shift I, then go to Select, Modify, and then Expand because we want to dig in a little bit. Four pixels is fine. Then Edit, Content aware fill, and it should do a pretty good job. Yeah, it kind of did a pretty good job. Hit OK. Look, what did I tell you? If there was a road, it would easily fill it some consistent ground. But here it messed up a little bit. No problem. See for the crop tool. Make sure no ratios are there and just crop it. Crop it from the side right there. We might have to crop a little more. Similarly, from this side, this side looks OK. Most of it looks OK. All right, there you go. Undistorted, my friend. So let's have a look at the before and after. Here's the before, distorted. Here's the after, undistorted. So that's how to fix distortions in Photoshop. All you have to do is to apply adaptive wide angle filter. And you can try to fill the missing areas with content aware fill. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.